have the frontal belly of the occipital frontalis, and that goes all the way around the skull back to the occipital. Mm -hmm. We have the orbicularis oculi and the orbicularis oris here around the mouth, around the side here, sitting underneath the parotid salivary gland. We have the masseter, good. You can see the sternocleidomastoid coming mm -hmm. down the side here. Starts up with the mastoid process, comes down to the sternum and the clavicle. Uh, we are able to see, we're able to see the omohyoid reasonably well here, coming down, and then headed back with the omohyoid. Um, other muscles that we talked about here. This is pectoralis minor, right? Yes, so we have pectoralis okay. major here. We have pectoralis minor. And the external uh, yeah. So if you, if you zoom in here, you are able to see a very slight diagonal slant this way. Mm -hmm. These are your external intercostals. Mm -hmm. This little line, this little red line right here, that shows where the people who made this model tried to cut away the external intercostals. And right next to it, you see this region of muscle where the diagonals run the, uh, uh, the mm -hmm. perpendicular to it. Mm -hmm. These are your internal intercostals. It's not a great representation, sure. but it's the best we got. So you're able to see it a little bit up here as well. The grain running this way in the externals. And then when we cut away the externals, you can see the internals having a so grain. So the point of origin this. for the externals are up here and the internals are Correct. on the bottom, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So we've got all these guys. Um, while we're on the front, we have well, we have the external obliques right here. Note the direction of the slant. Yep. Okay, top back to bottom front. We have the rectus abdominis going straight up and down here. We have the internal obliques coming back, uh, bottom back to top front. We have a perpendicular axis here compared to the external ones. If we let's take off this front really quick here. Let's see a couple more things here. If we take off his front, we now have the transverse abdominis running side to side here. Mm -hmm. We're also able to see the diaphragm as this dome-shaped muscle here for breathing. I'm going to get motion sick when you see that on the videos. <laughs> what was I I'll doing? Let that part out. Yeah. <laughs> what was I doing there? Okay. Um, around the side here, we can see the serratus anterior coming in here. You can kind of see how where it, where it enmeshes in with the external obliques. It kind of makes little pointy, jagged lines here. Hmm. The, that would be the serrated edge for the mm -hmm. serratus anterior wrapping around. Uh, as we come around the back, we're able to see the, uh, the splenius here, mm -hmm. the splenius capitis. We're able to see the levator scapulae, mm -hmm. rhomboid major, rhomboid minor. Covering all of that, we have the trapezius, which comes around to the clavicle, comes around to the scapular spine, and you know, comes down uh, into the thoracic vertebrae as well, we really do have kind of this kite shape running up here and running up here. Uh, over here on the shoulder, once we kind of get the, uh, get the deltoid out of the way, we get the uh, trapezius out of the way, we're able to see the supraspinatus muscle here above the spine of the scapula. We have the infraspinatus right here. Mm -hmm. We're not able to see the subscapulars, unfortunately. Yeah. Then we have. Uh oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Then we have the teres major wrapping mm -hmm. under the armpit here, mm -hmm. and the teres minor wrapping just around the back here. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the teres major and teres minor in an arm that's just sitting at the side. This is your teres major right here. Mm -hmm. This is your teres minor. Mm -hmm. okay. We have the latissimus dorsi wrapping up here from the 
mid thoracic region all the way down to the sacral region wrapping up it's going to insert under the armpit there let's see here what else do we want to see uh, in terms of the arm musculature on norman it is fairly straightforward We have deltoids up here, biceps brachii, moving around here. We have the brachialis, we have the triceps back here, we have the brachioradialis coming around this way. Um, the musculature of the forearm on this model, yeah, I, I would use one of those big models. Musculature on this forearm, not as finely uh, delineated as you might see on those models and because we spent more time on those models on the arms we'll kind of err on that side of caution. Um, moving down to the legs, Let's get this off. then we are able to see the tensor fasciae latte right here. <coughs> We have the gluteus maximus. Take off the gluteus maximus. We're able to see gluteus minimus. And we're also able to see the piriformis, one of your uh, large, larger <laughs> lateral rotators of the hip, deep musculature here. <coughs> As we move down, oh, we're on the back of the leg, so let's continue on the back of the leg. We have the biceps femoris here. We have the semi-tendinosis sitting on top here, and the semi-membranosis coming up from behind it. Yep, so it's the tender, the tender hot dog in the hot dog bun. Um, we can see the gracilis running down the medial side of the thigh right here. We have the adductor magnus back here. Um, on the leg down here, we can see the gastrocnemius. We can see a little bit of the plantaris, it starts up here and then kind of comes down here. And this is where that long tendon runs down the rest of the leg. We have the soleus here. And then if we take this off, we'll be able to see more of the soleus on the other side. Mm -hmm. Looking really deep at the back of the calf here. This most deepest muscle back here, yep, that's going to be your tibialis posterior. So if we put all of this back, and what we see is gastrocnemius, rotate around here, we see soleus, mm -hmm. we see the peroneus longus or the fibularis longus, and this is the muscle that has that tendon that wraps all the way around the lateral malleolus. We see the extensor digitorum longus, which comes down, and you can see where it has tendons that spread out to all the different toes here, except the big toe. The big toe gets its own muscles. And then we have the tibialis anterior, right here. So uh, now we're on the front of the leg, so let's look at the thigh. We have the sartorius, this long, lean one coming around here, because it crosses like this, we're able to get lateral rotation of the thigh as well as flexion of the knee. Take this guy off. We're able to see the rectus femoris right here, the vastus lateralis, the vastus medialis, and if we could take this guy off, which we can't on Norman, we would see the vastus medialis underneath it. Um, we are able to see the pectineus right here and the adductor longus right here. And I think that's pretty much all the muscles that we need to see on this guy, but we can see on this guy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alrighty?